we are employing nannies, we should always try to go to the agencies. Employ them through agency, known, known agencies, not uh, I met her on the road or you put signpost on the uh, outside your company nanny wanted. A nanny just came, you grab nanny, you employ nanny, nanny start working with you. She packed into your house, she moved into your house. You don't know where she came from. You don't know if she's human being. You don't know if she's a spirit. Please, guys, we should be careful of people we bring into our home. something else the world we are in is you know is something next guys please we really have to be vigilant be watchful this incident happened on friday my neighbor who is a banker and the husband is a businessman so she's always you know employing nannies to look after her kids why she you know why she goes to work so on friday her nanny came to me and said i should help her carry the little baby who is around a year plus because the senior one has gone to school so and i said okay i'll bring the baby why she you know do her shows in the house she's an in-house nanny she lives with them so there was light all through the day so i was very busy in the house i was very busy for me to you know come outside to bring my baby's hunger I met the the the, the school bus assistant teacher the teacher that we follow the school bus the driver and the shy my neighbor's son they were walking up and down the compound. I was like, hello. Is the nanny not in? He said no, that he has gone to check the the their apartment. That no one is in there, but the apartment is open. I was like, ah, ah. she came to drop baby with me now that she has a lot of shots to do. So where, where would she have gone to? I said, okay, no problem. I went in again. Offer for me to come out again. I asked the little boy, go into your apartment. Check if your auntie has come. They said she has not come back. And everywhere is still open. I told, I not asked him, do you know her bag? Do you know your auntie's bag? He said, yes. I said, okay then. Go in there, check if it, if her bag is staying in the wardrobe or in your house. He came out and said that her bag is not there. I was like, oh? Her bag is not there? He said, yes. I was like, oh? The her bags, her bag, her luggages are no longer in their house. God of mercy was just like news flash I quickly 
actually called my neighbor so I explained the situation of things to her it is like he called the husband she called the husband the husband now rushed her when the man went in there it happened that the girl packed all her madame's jewelry all their valuables the man's clothing then the money the man kept in the house she took everything she swept the whole house do you know our happiness was that she was able to you know bring the baby had it been she left with the child are we going to be discussing what are we going to be talking by now maybe probably by the time she, they will find her she might have used the child or so the child to whosoever that asked her to bring the child so guys what am i trying to say when we are employing nannies we should always try to go to the agencies employ them through agency Known, known agencies. Not, uh, I met her on the road, or you put signpost on the uh, outside your company. Nanny wanted, and Nanny just came. You grab Nanny, you employ Nanny. Nanny start working with you. She packed into your house. She moved into your house. You don't know where she came from. You don't know if she's human being. You don't know if she's a spirit. You don't know if she's a ghost. You don't know if she's a spy. You don't know if she was sent to your house by evil people please ignore the noise that is my that is my baby he's calling for attention so guys up till that friday till now you've not heard anything about her my neighbor called the agency where they employed where they employed her the only thing they told they told us was that that we should not worry that they are going to get her that they want to go and you know invoke her in their shrine or something like that i don't really know but that was the response given to my neighbor so since that friday till now we've not had a thing we've not seen the money We've not seen all the valuables that she went with. Please, guys, we should be careful of people we bring into our home. trust them no 
one should trust them. A close, a close relative self can even bite you badly. Talk more of someone that you are not related to. So guys, we should be careful. We should be careful. We should be careful. Had it been this girl left with this woman's baby? Can you find Gary Dana a cop by now? Can you find Gary Dana a cop by now? But you know, it will have been a different ball game altogether. Maybe by the time she, the, 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 the law enforcement agency might find her. She might have sold the baby, killed the baby, or what not. So guys, it's high time we are very careful. I used to have, I used to have the help. There's one help my mom brought brought for me. Do you know that this girl came into my house and turned everything upside down? She turned everything upside down. My fear was her influencing my own little girl, my little daughter. That was my fear. There is nothing this girl don't do. Guys, this girl can tell lies without, you know, without even thinking. At the way her brain processes lies it just it just as if the lies has been planted into it as in it has been automated as in if she tell you lies like this you don't you can't even blink you can't even doubt it to the point that she started displaying lots of bad character i tried to change her i tried I try to know if she can adapt to our own system of living in this place. But, oh God, that girl nearly killed me when I was pregnant. She nearly gave me high blood pressure. I tried to condole her essences. The girl that will go into my kitchen, she will get a piece of paper, light it and be smoking. do her back to where she came from before she will corrupt my child at least if a child wants to corrupt let the child corrupt by himself i will come and kill you tomorrow something that will come and give you problems tomorrow me that have not finished training my own child to make her a better person tomorrow one spoiled child from somewhere we come and you know render all my jobs useless all my years of you know trying to instill morals into my child just come and you know Yoruba will say that bar everything ah no please i don't have strength for that one i don't have strength for that one that was why i choose you know i decided to let everything be let everything be let me take care of my own child myself let me take care of my own child myself. At least YouTube has given me job now. YouTube has given me job. So there is no job greater than YouTube being at the same time babysitting and nursing a child. There is no job harder than that one. So so I think it's better for me this way. Let me stay and take care of my home myself. So guys. Please, when employing a domestic staff, go to a known agency. Go to a known agency. Hmm. By so doing, your family will be safe. Your, pap, your, your family will be safe. Your kids, everything under you will be safe. Please, guys, all these little things we tend to overlook or the things that matters in life okay this matter now eh this matter this issue it just the thing just eh, the thing just stressed me out i'm so tired because people that you trust when you trust people bring them close to yourself then it tends to you know misbehave and break your heart they intend to misbehave and break your heart. So 
guys. Side. Please. Where is your hand towel? guys thanks for watching try to share this video so that people can you know learn from me if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and please support your girl as you can see I'm still growing this is a new channel this is a baby channel please subscribe to my channel and turn all the notification buttons so whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Okay, so guys, 